on October 15, 2011, for the upcoming general election on November 8. Last week, we discussed the low Housing Authority issues, and I've come up with a couple of things after listening to the city manager on the radio this past Wednesday. From the Commission of Massachusetts Department of Industrial Accidents, board number 3060610, Sheehan. Date of injury, May 24, 2010. The lawyer is Stephen Berger of 6 Beacon Street, 7th floor, Boston, Massachusetts. The dispute was resolved. August 16, 2011, the city of Lowell paid to settle this claim. And that claim was paid because Mr. Sheehan's pay was reduced $30,000 when he refused to sign the permits for the Lowell Housing Authority. You tell me that's not punishment, then I'll tell you I'll buy you the Brooklyn Bridge. And then Tuesday night, they come before with the reorganization before the city council and said rough inspections for plumbing and electrical work have to be done by plumbing and electrical inspectors only, per mass general laws. 24 hours exterior inspection. Well, the housing authority hasn't been inspected in almost a year and a half. 72 hours for interior inspections, rough and final inspections, haven't been done in a year and a half. May I continue? And also Wednesday, the city manager was on the radio on WCAP. Carla suggested that the city manager clear up all of these issues by taking a lie detector test. After a lengthy silence, Manager Lynch finally agreed. Well, I'm here today to tell you, like Miller Lane, the referee of the big championship bout, let's get it on, Mr. Manager. If anybody doubts me, I'll take one, too. Mr. Manager, you agree, so let's do it. I'll take one, too. We'll see who's telling the truth and who fails once and for all. And last night in front of my house, an elderly gentleman was walking by my neighborhood, and he said hello to me. He says, how are you? He says, Freddie, I'd like to talk to you. Sure, go ahead. He said, I've worked for 45 years and can't afford to take my wife out to dinner anymore. His cost of living adjustments in Social Security was 0% for 2009. His cost of living adjustment in Social Security was 0% in 2010. In these same two years, city manager and the city council raised his property taxes by $820 and is going up again. And in these same two years, sewer and water rates went up 24% and trash fees went up over 50%. I'll tell you this, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to make you a promise, if elected. I will not vote for any more property tax increases. Working people and retirees can't afford to stay in their home. We'll cut the city budget by capping executive pays and doing away with the Proposition 2.5 that he adds to the budget every year of over $2 million and has added $25 million in the past four years. And there'll be no new taxes with my vote. I can't promise the eight other votes, but I can promise you I will not vote for no new taxes and to get rid of the main problem, cut the head off the snake, and fire the city manager. This is serious business, ladies and gentlemen. It's not a game. The council and the city manager have their hands in your pocket every day, and you have nothing to say. Well, on election day, you have a chance to fix things, and I'm asking you to vote for me to be your watchdog, someone who will stand up every Tuesday and demand that government be transparent and that your wallets be protected. When I grew up in the South End as a little boy, when I was 16 years old, my grandfather told me to remember two things. Don't lie and be loyal. For my whole life, I've followed that, and I will follow it till the day I die. And Mr. Manager, come and take that lie detector test. I'm waiting for you. I cannot wait. Please vote for Fred Doyle on November 8th, because you won't regret this vote. And I leave you with this. He who rides the back of the tiger is eventually swallowed by the tiger. And on November 8th, we can swallow up this council and the city manager and throw him out of city all once and for all and return the city to us. Thank you for listening. I'll be